Welcome back to another Slicer tutorial from the Daily Own Lab. My name is Rose Bryson, and today we're going to cover how to engrave or emboss your 3D model. So if you don't already have a 3D model segmented, check out some of our other tutorials from our channel to get to this point. So we're going to start out in the main 3D Slicer workspace, and you can see here I'm in the data module, and in my 3D viewer I've already segmented two models that are ready to print. I have a half of a primate skull here and an endocast of the brain space. So I've segmented these separately so that we can interact with these models, print them separately, and the endocast can be removed from that skull for demonstration. So first thing we're going to do is navigate to the segment editor module. So you can use that icon or the drop down menu, either way. And once we're inside of that module, I'm going to be engraving the endocast today, so I'm going to turn off the visibility of my cranium and make sure that endocast is selected to work with. Then I'm just going to click on the engrave tool to the left, and once we're interacting with that tool, the first thing you do is just choose the text that you want to be putting as your engraving or embossing as your label on your module. So of course you can put anything you want in this space. Um, you could do a specimen number from your museum or your lab, you could put the name of your lab, or of course if this model is going to a particular person, you could put that person's name. For this tutorial I'm just going to put specimen123, and the next thing you want to do is orient your model into a position where you can easily place that label. So for this endocast I'm going to put the label on the frame and magnum space, so I'm just moving this around to the inferior side and getting ready for that placement. When you're ready, you click the placement button over here on the left and then click on the model where you want it to go. Now the text is going to show up a lot bigger than you actually want it, so you just zoom out and you can adjust the size and the spacing of this text using these circles on every corner. So here you just click and drag to adjust and you can adjust how close or how wide that text is and the length and width here. But this button move over here to the left also allows you to move that text in space. So I'm clicking on that orange circle and moving it over my frame and magnum. You can also um, use this rotational axis here to move it as well. But as I'm kind of tinkering here to get the spacing that I want, I also want to suggest that you click and move your model in space so you can see how much that lettering is protruding out from your model. So you also want to, you can move it in this axis, but you also want to pay attention to the depth that you've set it at. So you can change the number or use that sliding scale to change your depth in millimeters here. Now we're engraving, so you can move it in space, but keep in mind that the depth there, the depth of the text, see it's set to seven millimeters here, but it's actually protruding out of the model, so it won't actually, actually be engraving that seven millimeters. So make sure you choose whether you want to engrave or emboss that model, and then whenever you're ready, click apply. And you can see here, now we have specimen one, two, three etched into our model. And you can kind of play around with this, play around with the spacing, the positioning, and of course the depth of that engraving, but pretty simple. Now if you're trying to work with multiple models, make sure that you click over to the other model you want to work on. So here, like we have today, a cranium and an endocast. I'm turning on the visibility of, that endo of the cranium and then making sure that I'm clicked onto the cranium before I change the text and place another label, or else it'll be applied to the endocast. So here I'm just writing daily on lab and clicking that placement button to place this new label. Now I'm gonna go a little quicker here since the process is exactly the same as we just did. I'm adjusting using those dots and then I'm using the move button to move it in space. Now for the cranium, I'm going to do an example of an embossed label instead of an engraved label. So that means that the text is going to be raised up and protruding from my model. So because the cranium is a more complex topography, I have to kind of think about that. And I'm just tinkering here, remembering that that depth is set to 7, so I'm adjusting that. And you just want to make sure you rotate your model around until you're happy with how much that text is 
protruding out from your model <clears throat> and that you're happy with the placement in 3D space. When you've got everything situated, again, just make sure your mode is correctly set to emboss and click apply when you're ready. And here we have an example, very quick process of embossing on the cranium and engraving on our endocast here. So the last thing that I want to show you before this video ends is just saving this as a model. So to do that, we're going to go back to the data module. Since these are just segmentations and to print, we need to save them as models. So now that I'm back in the data module, I want to make sure that the visibility of my two segments is on and then right click on either one and click export visible segments to models. Now, because they're both visible, now both of them are models and all I have to do is save them. So I'm going to go up to the save icon and my project is saved as a medical reality bundle. So to undo that, I'm going to click on the medical reality bundle icon, deselect everything here because all I really care about right now is my endocast and my cranium models. Then I'm going to change the file format. So STL and ply are great for printing. You'll have to check for your project and your printer. And then, of course, you want to set the destination of your directory for where they're going to save. And then simply click Save when you're ready. And you're done. So that is just a quick example of how to easily, in 3D Slicer, engrave a label or emboss a label into your model. And thank you so much to the 3D Slicer team for making this amazing software free for everyone to use. And if this tutorial was helpful for you, just subscribe below for more workflow tutorials from our lab. Thank you.